Aunt Mildred gave me the blue one. These aren't just any rosary beads. They were gifts kept next to Neil Mitchell's bed as reminders. Hope, hope and forgiveness. Mitchell says hope is the reason he's still alive today. The Gretna native is a recovering heroin addict, and he fears his addiction could have killed him if he hadn't found the Bridge House Substance Abuse Treatment Center last month. I was sleeping in my truck for like a week and, you know, uh, finally had some clarity. You know, my high power shook me and said, you need to go do something because I was suicidal. Nationwide, the Centers for Disease Control says deaths from heroin overdoses doubled from 2010 to 2012. In Louisiana, the Department of Health and Hospitals says heroin-related deaths more than tripled during that same time frame. But the most recent statistics may be the most staggering. They show heroin-related deaths in our state skyrocketed from just 15 in 2010 to 117 last year, with the majority of deaths in Orleans and Jefferson parishes. It's everywhere. You know, everybody I know knows at least 10, 20 people that's dealing. The Bridge House says for many of its clients, the drug of choice is now heroin. In line with a national trend, it says many of their clients started with prescription pills first. You are seeing people who would have never even tried heroin try it. Um, it is less expensive. It's more available. It is in a pure form, which makes it more dangerous. Mitchell's opiate addiction started with prescription painkillers, too, and he cautions others. It's a war you will not win. Job 14 wants But now hope continues to drive Mitchell forward. Mine is a new life in applying the tools and the ammunition I'm getting here to use it in my life, my new life. Monica Hernandez, Eyewitness News.